Hello friends, I'm Gunnery Sergeant Charles Paul. And I'm Staff Sergeant Tilden Olson, and we are back with your March Mania Update. Well, first round of this year's March Mania is in the books. Let's buckle up and dive right into Game 9. Game 9 was a matchup of heavyweights featuring Sousa's The Gallant 7th versus Alford's The Colonel Bogey March. Colonel Bogey won by about 1,400 points, and it looks like the fans of the 1961 classic The Parent Trap were out in full force to support the Colonel. Or maybe it was fans of the 1957 classic Bridge on the River Kwai. Either way, yes, Colonel Bogey's a catchy tune, but it pales in comparison to Sousa's Gallant 7th. That is objectively one of his best marches, if not the best march. I had it as my winner, and it's out in the first round. This is a travesty. Before you get too riled up, why don't we just move on to the next matchup? Probably a good idea. Game 10 saw an international affair as the Belgian parachutist dropped down to give Sousa the boot out of this tournament again. The only thing Sousa found in this game was a path to the exit. Moving on now to Game 11, we saw Morton Gould's March of the Leathernecks lose to John Philip Sousa's Who's Who in the Navy Blue. Partner, wasn't this one you were looking forward to? I did have my eye on this one, an all-department of the Navy matchup, and Gould's lone entry into the field, but it wasn't quite enough to overcome Who's Who in Navy Blue, although it was a very tight margin. Sousa won by only 36 votes. 36 votes? That's tighter than the rolled sleeves on my camis. Oh, let's not get carried away here. Let's move on to Game 12, which was a rematch between Ives and Sousa, and yet again those Ives supporters banded together to propel Country Band March to victory over Bell of Chicago. I really just don't like country music. Let's move on. Game 13. We saw the Gladiator take on the Wildcat March, and only one of these marches could come out of the arena victorious, and it looks like the Wildcat was triumphant. Well, we had Gladiators on each side of the bracket. Entry of the Gladiators, Sousa's Gladiator. I thought for sure we'd see an all-Gladiator matchup in the Coliseum here in the final, but our esteemed colleague, Staff Sergeant Parker Games, had other ideas. Throw up a salute, Staff Sergeant Games. You'll be meeting Colonel Bogey in the second round. Let's head over to Game 14, where Sousa lost yet again convincingly to American Patrol by nearly 3,000 votes. Those of you who thought Sousa could keep this one to within 2,500 votes are going to be disappointed. How undiplomatic. American Patrol will take on the Belgian Parachutists next in Sousa 16. Let's keep rolling and focus in on Game 15 here. Game 15 saw Jack Tar versus McCoy's The Sons of Uncle Sam, and Gunny, Uncle Sam wants you to weigh in on this matchup. Well, you gotta love Jack Tar. It's got a bosun's pipe. Anything with a bosun's pipe is pretty cool. The voters were not as impressed. Hit the road, Jack Tar, and take your bosun's pipe with you. Sons of Uncle Sam's moving on to the second round. And let's head to the last matchup of the first round here, where Sousa loses yet again to Strauss's Rudetsky March. I think a lot of people are going to be pretty upset about this score. Well, my friend, at the end of the first round, how's your bracket looking? Well, considering I had Washington Post in the championship, not the best. Yeah, I'm standing at a robust 8-8. Eight and eight. Three of my final four are already eliminated. At least you're doing better than Sousa is. Yeah, look at him. He's 3-13. and 13. Not so good. Well, voting for the Sousa 16 has already begun, so keep those votes coming. Vote early, vote often, and until next time, Semper, Semper Fi! Fi.